Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another unboxing video. And this time it's the Average White Band 50th Anniversary Collection. Uh, 15 CDs and 133 tracks. Um, this is from the Demon Music Group on Enzo uh, Records. Now, I know that many of you who tune in to the website, the YouTube channel and wherever else we pop up, that you've also been asking about this box set, but equally about the one that came out 10 years ago, which was the complete studio recordings. I'm not going to do a side by side comparison, but I will dip in and out because I want people to kind of appreciate why this is the one to go for. OK, so I'll talk about that more in the summary, but let's have a look inside the box is. So this is a look at the average white band, 50th anniversary, 15 CDs, 133 tracks. Now, I know quite a few people know I've been going to feature this and you've been asking questions about the previous box set, which was called the Complete Studio uh, Recordings from 1971 to 2003. This is out of print, but I know because the fans, listeners, viewers of this channel, um, this is what collectors are interested in. Which one should they get? So... This review is about this box, but as I know people are interested, I will touch on this. I have to say, as I'll say in the summary, that this is no longer available and incredibly expensive. Um, so I'll just, this obviously was put together with a takeoff lid with all the discs uh, in the top with a booklet. This is a slipcase set a bit like 10cc and a lot similar to let's say Roxy Music or the esoteric box sets from Cherry Red. I prefer this design. Um, let's just say that up front uh, and I'll talk about the the sound differentials um, at the end as well. This includes, so just to say this up front, the only difference here is this carries on um, after, with Aftershock from 88 and Soul Tattoo 96, Living Colour 2003. Um, otherwise, we've got the roughly the same content. Um, the discs themselves, the covers, if I use an example, Cut the Cake, one of my favourite records by them, if I can find that. Um, the old one was kind of a matte finish, and you can see here on the back that the new version is easier to read. So if you haven't got the eyesight of a fighter pilot, and the newer ones are easier to read. Um, so the discs themselves, they won't be in the right border when I take them out because I've been playing them. Um, but you've got the first one here, show your hand. As I say, it's kind of a more glossy feel to them. The famous White Album, which I reviewed recently as the vinyl set, Half Speed Master, cut the cake. Um, put it where you want it. Soul Searching. And the live one, person to person, which is in a gatefold sleeve. And the Benny King um, collaboration, Warmer Communications. Feel No Fret was a gatefold sleeve on vinyl, and it is here. And uh, Shine, Volume 7, and Cupid's in Fashion, and the Sunset Sessions, which is, which is new to this set, so unique to this set. And that's also in a gatefold sleeve and then some selected 12-inch um, mixes, etc. The booklet is really nice. It's a nice glossy um, print. It says here the fact that this covers the albums between 1973 and 82. So all 12 official uh, average white albums, average white band albums are here. Some of the, the booklet has been rehashed from the first one, but let's be fair here. The band were interviewed at length for that, and there's nothing actually that new to say, but this essay by Oni McTyre from June two, 2023 is new and really good. And I prefer this layout. Uh, what am I talking about? The layout for the first booklet um, was, was, wasn't as clear um, in the way it was done uh, the, to me. I prefer the whoever did the design of the new booklet. Um, it's much easier to scan because you've got all the album information separately for you to look at. Um, and again, the paper stock is is really nice. It feels a deluxe set. And then after that, uh, you've got the we go into the essay. So 
similar to the 10cc box set layout and it fits really well on the shelf because of that it's really well put together so this is kind of like edited and tweaked version of a previous essay but of course it does have new aspects to it because of the the music that's in this box set that wasn't in the older one and um, so alan hamish on roger and steve here autumn 2023 so this is all new so there's aspects that have been quoted from the other set but basically this is this is new itself so that is the 50th anniversary average white band box set featuring 15 cds their entire catalogue so that is Average White Band, the 50th anniversary box set, um, 15 CDs. And I did, as I promised, give you a little bit of an outline of this one. They are close, but they are different. But I'm going to say now, this is over £200 secondhand, even for a fairly biffed and, and botched one. This one I bought at the time. What is there a difference in the sound? There is. Um, and I what I did was I picked one of my favourite albums um, from the set, if I can find it, which was Cut the Cake. And I played the both discs back to back. And the new one on my system had more bass and a warmer feel than the older box set. I also prefer the feel and the the kind of fonts used on this and I feel that it's it's a much it's an enhanced version of the set. The the difference I pointed out is the complete studio recordings, hence the name, um, goes right the way through to um, 2000 with the last three albums so those are the three that are missing there's there's a couple of things also with a, a few tracks that were recorded in between the change the record label before the legendary white album came out and some of the extra tracks alternative versions are slightly different but there again this one the new one also has some 12 inch mixes and of course the on the strip sunset sessions as well which is unique to this set um this one is about 70 to 80 pounds. It's very much like the, it's related to the 10cc set, which I reviewed recently. Same kind of design, same production values. And um, it's really, really, really well put together. If I had to, if you were new to this band, um, if I was going to point you in the direction of one album to, to stream before you decide whether to jump or not, um, and the reason you'd want to jump into a box set like this is because you catch up all at once. Everything you want. This is the classic period, literally, um, from the early 70s to the early 80s. This is the core of the band. This is the core of the band being together, which is why probably the complete studio recordings moves out to a, a, the average white band were different by the time we get to the late 80s and, you know, 90s. And I think that's why we've had the cut off that this is the golden period of the the, all of the band making the albums during that period and as i said the booklet has got new introductory essay um new notes um and pointed out by by various band members etc but it's this one person to person the live album i recently interviewed um chester thompson the drummer who's been in weather report santana and genesis and he described his music as prog funk which I thought was a great, a great kind of term to describe, um, you know, music. You know, we have progressive rock and all the rest of it, but progressive funk. And that's where I have to, I want to land on person to person because this double live album, um, I think Pick Up The Pieces is nearly 15 minutes long. A lot of the tracks are really extended. And I would say this is probably the definition of prog funk um it's a great live album and it kind of shows you that this was soul funk um whatever you want to call average white band but they were master musicians and that they really stretched out live so there, there is music on here for every every emotion really some of it's yes moving towards kind of real soul disco stuff towards the latter day stuff but you know the stuff they did with um benny king is fantastic um one of my favorite albums um was also um feel no fret 
as well. Um, but of course, the one I've recently reviewed as the Half Speed Remaster was the was the White Album, which of course has Pick Up the Pieces on it. Um, but Cut the Cake is very similar as well. So this is this is the one to get. Um, and for those of you who've been emailing me saying, well, what about, you know, they're, they're just repeating what happened before. No, it's ten, there's 10 years difference. I think for us older music fans, we, we tend to think that 10 years has been like two and a half days. You know, if there'd been a compilation came out in 1970 and then in 1980, another one came out, you wouldn't think anything of it. Uh, but now we kind of think, well, that's been done. But things move forwards. Um so for some of you um, completists who think, well, what about the missing albums? You could seek out those separately if you want to. But this is the core. This is the core of the, of the, of the band, really. I mean, as it says here, 50 Years celebrates a timeless body of work by one of the most influential bands in the history of soul and R&B. And they weren't obviously from the USA. This collection covers the average white band's studio and live album output between 73 and 82. All 12 official albums released during that period, along with what if configuration extra discs of selected 12 inches, two of them appearing on CD for the first time. Um, it says, just so you know, for completion, the framework of these notes have appeared in previous collections because there have been like four CD versions and best ofs, etc. Um, but as they were such in-depth interviews undertaken before freelance music journalist, which is Justin M. Cantor and historian, these works have appeared in the All Music Guide, etc. Um, both Alan Gorey and Hamish Stewart felt there wasn't anything further that could be written about those early days. However, we are treated to an intro to this personal recollections of Oni McTyre, along with Alan, co-founded AWB back in 1971. As it says, here we go round again. So that's highly recommended. It's out now, and I don't know whether it's going to be around for very long. These, these kind of box sets have quite limited runs now, um, but this is the one to get. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for becoming patrons and YouTube members. Remember, music is the healer and the doctor. Take care. Keep spinning those discs. And I shall see you all very, very soon.